Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I'm here today with the newest Itch to Stitch pattern release. This is the Over Top. And it is a really fun and beautiful top pattern. Um, I'm gonna talk you through the details of the pattern, um, what I've done to my version, one thing I'm gonna do for future versions, and then we'll also talk about the fabric. This is the one I've been hinting at, this beautiful fabric um, from Sew Boutique. Okay, so, itch to stitch. This comes in the full size range. It comes with a standard bust or a full bust. Um, and I'll put that bust range here. Um, I have made the size eight with the full bust front. So it doesn't have cup sizes, it just has standard bust or full bust. And she talks about in the instructions when you should use which one, depending on your difference between your upper bust and your full bust. Cause this is a pretty loose fitting shirt as you'll see here in a minute. Um, it features a cross over front. It's a very interesting construction. And she even has you put a little um, plastic snap in here just to keep that um, crossover in place so you're not flashing anyone. Although to be honest, I put, I mean, I put these snaps on like the fronts of all of my wrap dresses, but I kind of, when I was trying it on, I'm like, I don't even know that I need it <laughs> because the bottom of the front has this elastic that's right here that you feed into the front, which kind of gives it that blue sawn effect. Um, but it also keeps things pulled a little bit taut right here. And so it kind of tucks under a little bit. You'll see it on me here in a second, but, um, and it keeps things nice and taut. So I didn't feel like anything was gaping, but I did go ahead and put it there. You know, I guess if I'm bending over or something, it might be nice to have that little security that's right there. Then in the back, obviously it's sleeveless. And then in the back, it has this nice little shirt tail hem. Um, it's got a yoke with a pleating. So it's got a nice, you know, looseness here. Um, and the curve and she has you finish off the hem of the back with bias tape and I made self-made bias tape in fact this was what I was making in my bias tape um, tutorial the neckline is finished off with bias tape as are the armholes and I used um, self fabric bias tape for that okay pattern alter so it's a very simple top but it has some cool constructions the way that you encase the elastic and how it's kind of loose in there but it like all works everything the dog is coughing. Can you see her? Oh, there she is. She wants to leave the room, but <laughs> she's stuck in here for now. <laughs> okay, so again, made the size eight with the full bust. I shortened the body, the front and back by one inch, which I do for all itch to stitch patterns. I'm very short in the torso and I'm also only 5'2", so I always shorten things one inch. In the, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious, I tell you, it's hard to find good help these days. <laughs> okay, so I shortened the pattern by an inch in the front and the back. I'll put um, footage of me now in this so you can kind of see as I'm talking about it. Um, the back. So I'm getting a little pulling in my, like around my hips. I, the size that I make, I make a straight size eight, which is actually, I guess though right now, I have like a right at a 40 inch hip right now, I'm carrying a little extra weight, which is what the pattern puts me in. But I get a little bit of pulling, um, kind of like I need a sway back adjustment, but I think what it is, is it's the elastic that's pulling in the front. And so the elastic pulls it around just a little bit and that's what's pulling, catching on my rear end, because it's pretty loose top. I think the issue is that I just need to shorten this back piece um, another inch and I think I'll be good to go from them. I think it's just a little too long for my body and the back. So going forward, I am gonna shorten the back at the hem another inch um, all the way. And I'll probably shorten it an inch at center back and then take it to nothing. Um, Cause it's just a little bit, it's just a little long in the back for me than from what I need. So. Anyway, I'll quit. <laughs> um, so I am gonna do that. Just shorten it at center back to make the curve not quite so pronounced and just shorten that up a little bit. And I think that's gonna be perfect. And I will be making more of these. I think this is so flattering. So this elastic helps give you like that little, um, you know, half tuck little thing that just, it draws the eye. It confuses the eye and makes the eye continue to move. So you're not just, you know, horizontal line. Oh, that was attractive. You are, <laughs> You're not just horizontal line, like curved hems, doing the little half tuck, uh, shirt tail hems, all just helps to um, just make you look a little 
longer and it just keeps the eye moving so you're not getting stuck on like a wide part of the body and I think that this does a beautiful job of doing that I just think this is so flattering okay so for the um, fabric I use this beautiful rayon batik from so batik it's so beautiful I would this is a little heavier than a rayon chalet so I'd call it like a rayon poplin probably um, and it comes in the narrower widths I had two yards of the 45 inch wide um, rayon and I used it all now a chunk of that was bias strips and I made a not a whole bunch but I made quite I made way more than I needed so I have some extra in my stash for um, later on down the road so that was bias strips for the front for the armhole and for the hem in the back and um, it, it was just it was a perfect amount so just if you're wanting to make yourself a batik version as well that's what I did two yards got me all of that then the only other notions you need are um, a little clear snap, which I keep on hand anyway, because I like those for any of my crossover tops. I just, they make me feel a little more secure. And then three inch, three eight inch wide elastic, a little piece of it for the front of the bottom here. And um, yeah, that's it. This thing actually goes together pretty quickly, even though there's some really cool techniques that she has you um, do. Now there's a lot of, because my fabric is very much the same on both sides. so. I had to mark wrong side mostly because not that it mattered from a print standpoint but because the way you you know line up your two and then you're doing the burrito method with the yoke in the back and then one gets wrapped to the other side to encase the elastic and it was I was do like okay I gotta <laughs> take a minute and make sure that all the right sides are out and I'm doing this correctly but even still, it went together really quickly, and um, I just think it's so beautiful. And in a rayon poplin, or a chalet, or a rayon crepe, you just get a beautiful drape. Silk would be gorgeous. Um, I would do something with drape. I guarantee, I've not seen Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. I'm pretty sure she was tester on this one. I've not seen her version yet, but I would almost guarantee she's used chiffon, because she is the queen of chiffon and does some of the most beautiful things with chiffon, and I don't know what her magic is, <laughs> because chiffon makes me crazy to sew with it I think it's gorgeous to wear and she just does an impeccable job so you could do this out of something like that um and yes it would be just absolutely gorgeous anyway it is just a really lovely fun top and it kind of takes a sleeveless blouse and elevates it a little bit makes it a little different a little something extra so um, I love it with the white but um, I could definitely pair it with my red shorts. I am making some salmon colored shorts for my summer capsule. This would look great with it. Well, it looks great with the salmon, as you can tell. Um, yeah, there's lime green. Oh, wouldn't this be neat with like that spring green color? Yeah. I don't do as much. I mean, I could wear it with my jean shorts. Um, I think that would be fine. Actually, it kind of monochromatic because you have all the differences in the blues here. But um, yeah, I just think that this is going to get so much wear um, this summer. It, it's just easy to throw on and I feel dressed up in it. So it'd be cute over a jean skirt too. I mean, I think I would have a straighter or an A-line skirt. I mean, like a pencil style kind of, um, or even like a little A-line denim skirt, but that would be really cute for summer too. Anyway, <laughs> it is on sale now, 20% uh, off, I believe, from now through the week. So definitely you want to head over and grab that while you can. Um, as always, her patterns are just drafted beautifully. And I, yeah, her stuff's just always top notch, the drafting on her patterns. So that is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this newest pattern release. And um, I will see you back on our regular schedule on Friday. And I think Friday is going to be swimsuits. I'm going to be showing the two swimsuits I made for my daughter. Um, and then talking a little bit about my plans for my own swimsuit. So there we have it. All right, guys. Have a great Wednesday. And I will see you again next time. Bye.